In this video, we'll dive into Blender physics and create this animation of your product falling into the pile of ice cubes. It will be quick and it will be very easy, so let's go. Let's start with adding a simple cube with a ray modifier with the number of your choice. I want to have a big pile of ice, so I am going to need more cubes for that. Duplicate the array modifier for each direction to make a box of cubes, so you will end up with three arrays for all three axes. Then make a small gaps between the cubes by adjusting the factor on each array modifier. Once you have a box of cubes, apply all array modifiers using Ctrl A. Now we have a big pile of cubes, but we cannot run the simulation yet, because the pile is one object and we need to separate them first. So go to edit mode, select all and separate them as loose parts. This will separate all cubes individually and if you have a lot of them it may take a while. Then move all of the cubes to the new collection. Now with all cubes still selected go to physics properties and add rigid body. We don't need to change any settings but we will change the mass to like 0.015 kg, which is approximately the weight of the ice cube. If you are using for a simulation something more complex than a cube, you might switch from convex hole to mesh. Now go to object tab, rigid body and with all cubes selected click on add active to apply the physics on all cubes. Before we run the simulation, we need to add origin to the center of each cube. This is important because the origin is basically the gravity center of the cube and if it's placed incorrectly the physics will not work properly. And the last thing before the simulation is adding a rigid body to the plane that will be interacting with the cubes. But this time we will uncheck dynamic so the plane is fixed and not affected by gravity so it will remain on the same place. Now when we run the simulation we can see it is working, but it still remains in the same pile which is not what we want. So select the cubes again and in object choose randomize transform to make the cubes distribute more randomly in space. If we run the simulation again the pile will turn into explosion because the random transformation made some cubes intersect with each other. And because this cannot happen in the real world, Blender physics calculated that as an explosion. But this way we have effectively randomized the distribution of the ice cubes. Now is the part when you can add anything you want to the simulation. For example, I will use my pre-made and pre-designed energy drink that I made last year. And if you want to have the same 3D model, you can go to the description and click on the first link. This 3D model is free, so if you want to, you can just go there and just download it from the internet. But you can of course use anything you want. Just make sure that this time you are using mesh shape inside the rigid body settings. So just choose your object, move it to the frame 1 and move the object above the cubes so it falls into the pile. Now everything is working by so far so now we will bake the animation. To do baking select all objects, click on the object tab and press B on your keyboard two times and bake the animation. Now the simulation is no more, it's all keyframed. The physics has been applied as you can see, the movement of each cube was baked into the keyframes, so if you play the timeline, the animation should be smooth and less buggy, because the computer no longer needs to calculate the interactions. Our next part is sculpting the ice cube. Now as you can see there are hundreds of them and we are not going to sculpt each one individually, so let's do this differently. Add a cube, add a simple subdivision surface and apply it. So we have more geometry to work with. Now go to sculpt mode and try to shape the cube to the shape of the ice cube. It's only basic sculpting and it will take you probably 2 minutes, maybe 1 minute if you are a good sculptor. I recommend using smooth brush to just smooth the hard edges and corners to make that soft transition between each side. When you are happy with your ice cube, scale it down to match the same size as the regular cubes, match the rotation and try to be as accurate as possible. Now select the rest of the cubes with the sculpted one selected as an active and with Ctrl L link the object data. Now all of the cubes has been replaced by the sculpted version that we just made. Now let's create a simple ice material. Add a glass BSDF, make the color a little bit bluish and add a noise texture with color ramp to control the fall off. You can use the noise to drive the roughness and bump. And here is the final material I used if you want to make the same one. I used the classic combination of blue and red area lights to analyze the can from both sides and with one regular white area light above the can to reveal the true color of the etiquette. Last thing before rendering is adding droplets on the surface of the can. And if you are wondering, I'm using Droplet Generator which is an add-on that you can download for free as well. And if you want to download it, you can find the link in the description, it's the second one. And now we are done. Now you can render the image or the entire animation, as you wish. But if you are struggling with rendering animation, I made a video specifically dedicated to how to cut the cycle's render time to the fraction, so we can render up up to 3 to 10 times faster, so go watch it. 
That's all for this project, I hope you learned something valuable from me. If yes, share this video to someone who will appreciate that, like and subscribe to see more of this content, and with that being said, I will see you in the next video.